All right, well, as 2022 comes to a close, it's time to look back on the year in television and consider all the hits and misses from TV entertainment. And since we're talking TV, of course, we need to talk to our consultant, our entertainment guru and Idaho Press columnist. We have the lovely April Mill here to find out her year-end recommendations. So, Abbott Elementary, huge fan, love yes. it. I'm so glad it's at the top of your list right now. Top of the list, Abbott Elementary, Quinta Brunson's show has so much heart. I'm a little miffed that Lisa Ann Walter was not nominated by the Critics' Choice Awards for television, which were announced today, but I'll get over it. Um, anyway, <laughs> a little bitter. Uh, I, to me, she is, she and Cheryl Lee Ralph, their chemistry as the two wise and kind of veteran teachers yeah. are the juice of the series. So yes. I'm pulling for you, Lisa Ann Walter. I love you and I want you to be on Idaho today. Sending you a hug. Yeah. There you go. Okay, next, Somebody Somewhere. What's this? This is, a this. okay, the Duplass brothers. Uh, Bridget Everett is a comedian. This is sort of... The square pegs come home. Uh, she's in her 40s, she's floundering, she doesn't have any family of her own. Her sister passes and she, she was home in Kansas, in her small town in Kansas, taking care of her. And she's just floundering and she finds her old friends from high school and she mm -hmm. finds like her, her people again. Oh, and fun. it's got a lot of heart, it's a small, you know, sort of like a, a small town square pegs uh -huh. as adults okay. type show. Okay. It's, it's got a lot of heart. I like it. All right, so what about The Bear? Now, th this, this makes you think of like a nature show, but it's not. No, no, no. The okay. Bear is a wonderful story about a, a James Beard level chef who has to come home to take care of his, his family business. His brother, who's played by John Bernthal, who's in another show that I'm gonna be talking about, um, commits suicide and oh. he basically instills in this greasy spoon roast beef or beef Chicago beef restaurant uh -huh. the discipline that a proper kitchen like a French laundry level kitchen yep. has and they're very resistant at first but then they fall in line when they see that they it still it gives them a sense of pride in what yeah. they're doing and there's a lot of twists in it the bear is a wonderful series that sounds fun yeah it's, yeah. it's incredible and there's a great that. twist at the end and you mm -hmm. can't wait for season two. Oh, okay all right i'm already eating out of your hand on that one okay, okay. uh what it, is shorezy is that right shorezy okay. okay well boise is a letter kenny town okay. morrison center when letter kenny comes through town it sells out and uh, this is about small town <laughs> <picture>. Ontario, <laughs> right? Uh, so Shorzy is the spinoff of Leonard Kenny. Shorzy is uh, a, a fantastic hockey player. He kind of is naughty with the other players' moms. He has a thing oh. for moms. Oh. And he cries when the Canadian anthem is played. And he's just, he's a very uh, strong work ethic. The, the, the series sort of follows the film Flat, Slapshot uh, with Paul Newman. Um, you know, he's trying to save the team from being folded. Got it. Okay, that sounds like a fun one, though, It too. is a fun one. All right, now, we've heard of this one, though, uh, Severance, right? Severance, Gotten dystopian of, work, yeah. you know, the innie, the Audi, um, how corporations sort of take over someone's life. And uh, it's a very kind of dystopian workplace drama, sort of set in, like, this weird future. Um, of a man who's grieving his deceased wife, but then he goes into this building and his memories are erased. He doesn't have the grief anymore, which was the pull. He was tired. He he was tired of feeling the grief. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very interesting cast and premise. All right. So if you're looking for something a little more serious, because uh, you said like it's more like a drama. It is. Okay. It is. Got it's, it. It's it's much and John Turturro's in it and of course Christopher Walken. Ooh. Fantastic. Oh cast. really? Yes. Oh, I love Christopher yes. Walken. Yes, and Patricia okay. Arquette. Oh, great. Okay, two big ones. All right, what about Minx? Minx is a, it's a little naughty, but it's wonderful. It's a fantastic series. My mother, who's 85, watched three episodes and she, her eyes were opened a little bit, but um, <laughs> it's sort of, it's a, it's a period piece in the 70s when magazines exploded on the scene, Ms. Oh. Magazine and Playgirl and Cosmopolitan and all these women's magazines. And this very earnest, you know, Ivy League educated young publisher wants to create a, a women's, you know, feminist magazine. But she kind of has to get a little, make friends with uh, a guy who's a little on the skin magazine side mm -hmm. just to know, understand the business and how to sell a magazine. And it's a wonderful story, great cast, and uh, I really recommend it. Give it a chance. That, not that, for that, kids. Not, not for kids, but that does sound like a fun one, though, yes. too. I like that, like the whole process of like, okay, she's got to get her hands dirty to, yes. to get the to results of what she's building. Yes, selling yep. magazines, right. All right, Andor. 
Andor is a Star Wars project yes. for people who are really sick of Yoda, and that's <laughs> me. I am tired. I'm sorry. I'm going to say But he's so cute. I'm, I'm really, And he's everywhere this holiday season. I'm you know done that. with Yoda. Yoda and the I child. I raised yes. my children. I've been yep. to Nam. I'm not doing Yoda anymore. But Andor is for people who, like, kind of like a political intrigue okay. type element to the Star Wars canon. And it's, uh, it's much more sophisticated than any Star Wars type project you've ever seen. Please watch it. It's fantastic. Okay. All right. Well, you heard her opinion on the whole Star Wars saga so far, and this one actually hits home for you, April. Okay. Yeah. It's, all right. it, because it's good for adults. Okay. I like it. All right. And then coming up on the end, we have We Win. Own This City. What uh, is this? John Bernthal. Well, this is David Simon who created The Wire. Oh. This is all based on true events that happened in the Baltimore Police Department. And uh, it's, it's uh, really... If you love The Wire and you like David Simon's sensibilities as a, as a reporter and as a showrunner, John Bernthal is the lead. He plays a corrupt cop. Um, it's a fantastic show, more serious. You know, this isn't an uplifting holiday one, but it is a really good series, and a lot of people love The Wire, so, yes. you know, it's along that vein. Right. Um, the, gritty, the gritty streets of Baltimore. And April, where do people go so they can follow you and get all the rest of your amazing advice? Well, um, the Idaho Press publishes T Treasure Valley TV Talk every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can always find me online. I'm very active on Twitter, a little bit yes. on Instagram. Um, I'm losing my patience with social media. But <laughs> <laughs> can but argue find her me. on Twitter. <laughs> she talks a lot on Twitter. And how do they find you? Uh, I'm at, at, at April Mack, A-P-R-I-L-M-A-C. Wonderful. April, thank you so much. Thank Love you. Love having you on, my friend. Okay, everyone, stick around. More to come on the show right after the break. <laughs>